so this is one of those uh, games that's not really a game, but we're going to have fun nonetheless. It's Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. And we're just going to create some totally historic battles that actually occurred. So that's the aim here. Right? We'll do sandbox, but like... Let's, uh, let's see. So you can posit- so you got maps. What have we got? Let's just do desert dunes, right? So we got our first army that has a hundred thousand. And then we add a second army, right? So we'll do the Romans versus the Greeks. Pretty simple. And both of them will attack, right? And let's start the battle. So, you know, I'm sure somewhere in history there was a battle somewhere in the desert, and maybe the Romans and the Greeks fought somewhere in the desert, I don't know. But completely historically accurate is what we're going for here. Oh, wow, okay. I was not expecting this. How, ma how many did I put? I... I did there wasn't that. 100,000 per side. This is 100,000 of each unit. Um, cinematic mode. Oh, okay. So you get rid of the HUD. What are the keys? It's like it's RFPC. And then there's God Power. Noah's Flood. Nuke. Tsunami. Tornado. None. Okay. Alright, I guess let's start the battle. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, some of them have purple capes and everything. Very historically accurate, the purple kites. I mean, I don't know who's gonna win here, but it's pretty equal footing. But I gotta say, like, uh... This side here doesn't seem to be wearing much armor. Whereas on this side, uh... I mean, I don't know, in terms of usability in battle, I feel like this is more appropriate compared to, I guess, this is like RPG armor. Like, that underwear alone probably has plus 10 to defense or something. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised this is keeping up, like, I thought this would struggle. It's so cinematic. I mean, this is pretty straightforward in the sense that, like, you know, they're just in the middle of a desert. And they're just fighting. Like, there's no objectives. What's going on over here? What? What is happening over here? this? What are they doing? <laughs> Just some of them were like, nah, fuck this, we're going down the side. Flank! Left flank! It's okay, the, the Roman... The Romans have responded. Very, very organized. I just love the premise of this, there's like, absolutely zero strategic value in this land here. It's just in the middle of a barren wasteland, but here they are, just murdering one another. Um, okay. So, wait, what does shotgun smite do? Oh no, okay. I can just... <laughs> I am God. 
with a shotgun. Okay. Noah's flood. Uh, uh. Oh, no, okay, okay. That did nothing. That was like... Oh, no, I see. You have to hold it. Oh, no, okay. No, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> I was like... That was like barely a drizzle. <laughs> I must turn this place into an oasis. We must have a source of water here for the people. What about... No, I mean, I can guess what Nuke is. Let's go do a tsunami over the other side. What does tsunami look like? Why are there... Okay, I don't get this. Why is there a pool of blood at the, at the rear of the formation? Or is that... Is there so much blood here that it's just kind of seeped all the way back here? There's no explanation for this. Like, why is there blood at the back of the formation? Alright. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that gigantic. Uh, I've, like, wiped out half of them. One side uh, has a commanding lead. There's like a difference of about, I don't know, 20,000 troops now. <laughs> oh, I, I have most definitely ruined this. It, it's, it's still going. Wait a minute. RTS mode? Press F while pointing out a unit to possess. What do you mean, press F to possess a unit? Oh! Oh, no way! <laughs> oh my god! I am now, uh, John Greek Soldier. Mental. Oh, I, can, I can run to the front lines. Out of my way! Oh, no, I'm, I'm losing health from water, apparently. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Battle cry! But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just pandemonium. I got a kill. <laughs> this river. Oh, 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 hello. Okay. What else can we do? Press R to ex enter exit R. Oh. Oh, so I can just... Oh, wow. No kidding, and I can get them to move. To here! This is, uh... This is more than I what I thought this was gonna be, not gonna lie. There's, there's not much left, there's only 3,000 troops remaining. I mean, admittedly, I have skewed the result just, just a little bit. Um, you know. Wait, what's going on here? Are there any survivors? Has anyone survived the Great Flood? It would appear not. 
But, you know, it, it seems like, uh, yeah. One side is about to lose. But in their last stand. It's kind of fascinating to watch. Like, they're trying their hardest, and then there's more that are... Uh, Eventually, they'll get surrounded. <laughs> it's music, though. I mean, you know, the one side's clearly gonna win, but... I'm... I'm not a merciful god. Whoever survives this tactical nuke deserves to be the winner. Apparently there's one, one, what? No, there we go. The Roman soldiers won? How did 516 of them survive this? Oh, they're all the way back here. <laughs> Such as war. Oh, that was great. Whoops, finger slipped. <laughs> is, is there a survivor? No, that's it. Okay. I mean, that, that was... That was that one. You came back to Massacre by a Meteor. No, that was me as a god setting off a tactical nuke. I put a hundred thousand Roman soldiers against the Greeks, so you know, that was cool. In the middle of the desert, no real strategic thing. Excuse me, is there a World War Two? Okay, World War Two map. We're gonna reenact, um, you know, Normandy, right? So one one team will start here in the water. And the other team will be here, alright? And we want this to be as accurate as possible, so hang on. What have... Excuse me, animals? What do you, what do you mean, battle duck? <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on! The Germans... Versus, um... Battle ducks? And we'll just, we'll just bump this up to a million. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know. Yep. This, this looks okay to me. Hopefully my computer doesn't crash, but, uh... Okay. And here we are. The year sometime in the 1940s. We're on the coast of France where the Germans are ready for war. They see on the beach an army approaching. Who could it be? Where are they? I don't see them. Hello? Where's the army? Oh, oh no, 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 are they on this? Okay, maybe they're on these boats. Maybe I just have to play out this, this scenario. I'm trying to find them, but I can't see them. They, I put them directly in front of each other, so traveling like this, I should have found them, right? They are pretty far away. I don't know how this is going to go. Alright, let me just make sure here.
Okay, we'll take the perspective from here. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you guys running to the beach? You shouldn't be running to the beach. You should be defending. <laughs> Just jumping up. <laughs> oh no. Yes, but where are the... Where are the invaders? I don't, I don't see... I don't see the second team. Look, look at this dude, just... Absolute madman. <laughs> what are they running towards? There's nothing here! Wait, I see something. There's so many, that's, that's a million people. Oh my God, I see them in the distance. Listen to this music. I think of the camera angle here. chance against us though like they just have a little helmet and nothing else they're just like bursting into feathers <laughs> one duck has managed to get a kill no <laughs> I mean, this is not fair. Look at them, they're just exploding into feathers. Okay, we, we, need, we need an act of God here. And suddenly, one of the ducks from behind summons the holy power of Noah on the German army. Much of a difference. I think we need more. Hang on. Alright. There we go. The great equalizer. Yeah, these are magical ducks. You know, they have their warrior ducks, which charge the beaches, and then somewhere in the rear they have their duck mages. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna possess a duck and I'm gonna see if I can get a kill. I am this duck here. Oh, 
No. <laughs> what? It does not. It does nothing. It does nothing. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. Possess. Next up. A mask out. The ducks have only managed to kill two. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> possess a duck and let. Okay, hang on. Possess a rifle and let the duck get me. That's an excellent idea. I just love them coming out of the little boats. It's just... It's so good. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, no. My fellow countrymen will not let me fall. But they've rallied around my position. <laughs> oh, dude. No, the ducks are so, for some reason they're getting more kill. What is going on? What are they doing? Why are the numbers going up so drastically all of a sudden? Oh no, the Germans are just trying to board the boats and they're just getting massacred. I think the boats are killing the Germans <laughs> more than the ducks. Something needs to change to turn the tide of war. Something needs to change. I think we need a uh, an executive order from Franklin Duck Roosevelt, you know, the president of uh, the United Ducks of Duckington. He just signed the executive order. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Somehow they're still losing. Leaving the little boats. <laughs> hey, Abby. <laughs> the Donald Duck sounds they're making. <laughs> I'm dying. Thank you so much for the race. Uh, welcome to. Uh, Historical battles in history. We're having a, a reenactment of uh, the storming of uh, Normandy. World War II. The United States Army versus the Germans, clearly.
Can I afford this as one giant duck? No, but I think I can edit the duck class. And maybe make it tankier. This is only the second battle I've done tonight, so you know. Things can only get better. I did try to possess a duck, but it just didn't work. Like, they don't really do much. Okay, we need to give the duck another advantage, so... I am Noah. And I will flood everything. Or how about just a tsunami? Casual tsunami. Where's my tsunami? Or does it have to be on land? Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> I can't believe my computer can keep up with this. What sorcery is this? What? How are they still alive? What do you mean they're still alive under the tsunami? What is this German army made out of? Oh no, there they go. Nope, yep, nope, yep, nope, there they go. <laughs> Why are they exploding? Oh uh, dear, the, the Dark Army, it's not looking good for the Dark Army, there. there's only about a hundred thousand Duck Soldiers remaining. It's not looking good. The day might be lost. Even with the help of God, the Dark Army is no match for the mighty Germans. What are the inputs to start the battle? Oh, uh, you'll see. board the, mo the boat immediately and just massacre the ducks. Like, you can't even see the ducks anymore. They're just getting destroyed. Okay, you know what? Alright. Like, I'll give that one to the German army. The ducks don't have weapons. You're right. That's a little unfair. So, let's... Let's design a new duck. Uh, so how do you do this? Character customization. Ah, here we go. So, we're gonna call these, um, you know, super ducks. Okay, so we want, um, what do we want them to be? How do you do this? We can pick what they. Oh, here we go. Up top corner. Okay, there we go. Right, so we want the battle duck. And then we want them. Super bullet? What do you mean projectile egg? Accuracy. Oh no, we want them to be 100% accuracy, accurate with the eggs. Um, let's make their move speed double so that, you know, hyper ducks. Um, they're ranged. And, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna bump up their health by 10 times. So they have 800 health. Um, I don't think you can alter the size of the duck, though. It looks like it's just a bunch of, uh, impact force. Uh, let's do point two. Splash damage, point two. Oh, wait, this has to be a number between one and ten. Okay, just one. One. Um, this looks good to me. Defense, melee block chance, range block chance. Okay, you know what? You cannot kill these ducks with melee. No, 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 other way. You can't kill these ducks from a range. 
so they can't be sniped. They can only be killed like a zombie. They must be done up close and you must get them in the head. Okay. Now, what do we do? We do... What do you mean free range chicken? What is this game? Where's custom? Custom... Uh, super ducks. Okay, so now we have one million super ducks versus the German army again. Let's see how the Germans do against the super ducks. That have been created for battle. Normandy. 1940-something. Because I don't remember the exact date. The German army is about to meet some invaders on the beach. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can alter the size of the duck, so the duck has to be the same size. You can't edit the size of the characters. I mean, it has to be realistic, Evie. We must reenact these battles to preserve history. Here they come! <laughs> they can't kill them. They're immune to range damage. Wait, where are the eggs? Where are the eggs? Did I not give them eggs? Hang on, where are the eggs? I don't see the eggs. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, they, I mean, they, they are getting the kills. No, but I oh know I can see them. Look, look, look in the air. Look in the air. Look in the air. There's eggs in the air. Look, 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 look. There are eggs in the air. It's just small. It's more. It's more equal now. It would appear pretty even. Both sides have lost about the same amount of. Uh, yeah, same amount of troops, roughly. It's gonna go either way. <laughs> I just love the Donald Duck sound they're making. <laughs> Oh yeah, Peter's gonna be pissed. I, 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 want to, I want to see this, because now, now that the German soldiers aren't at the beach, we can actually see this properly in all its glory. <laughs> oh. The 
this is not how I was expecting my day to end, not gonna lie. I am kind of impressed with how much my computer can keep up with, like, I don't know, a million bucks fighting a million Germans on the beach. And there you go, here's our cinematic view. Showing indeed that war is a terrible thing. I'm gonna do one thing now. Let's go further back. I'm now going to possess a duck and take control of a duck and we're gonna go. I am now this duck. I have 800 health, I need to get there. Cool. I want to see how many kills I can get as a duck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Must reach the front lines. Excuse me. Uh, they're saying I'll kill you as Donald Duck. I'll kill you. Oh, oh, oh no. Not looking good. I thought I gave them ranged immunity, but I guess not. This duck might not make it to the front lines. Look, I got that. Get it! <laughs> Get it! Ah, oh, dead. Next duck. I need a duck that has HP. Okay. How's this going anyway? Oh no, now the Germans have a commanding lead again. What happened? The ducks were doing so well. Alright. Uh, I believe it's time for uh, Franklin Duck Roosevelt to sign an executive order. There may have been uh, a little bit of collateral there, but I think overall a net, a net win for the Ducks. One million just takes way too long. <laughs> it's, it's too much. Okay. We got the idea. Let's, let's mess around with it a bit more. Because there's more stuff you can do with this. But again, the, the Germans, too strong, even for the super ducks. Um, range settings apply. I can, what's elect, alright, I'll give him electric beam. That seems good. I'm going to give him a hundred percent range armor. I'm 
Okay. But it doesn't look like you can alter the size of the character. Uh, what other maps have we got? We've got... Viking Winter? Oh. Interesting. Highlands. Desert Dunes we've done before. City of Troy. Where is the city? I'm gonna drop it down to like a hundred thousand. Oh, hang on. One hundred thousand. There we go. A smaller army. Because a million just takes too long. We can make... We can make them defend. So, like... We're not gonna do World War II soldiers. Okay, I have an idea. Medieval, and what we're going to do... We're going to have them... Hold this town. And then we're going to send... Alright, hold on. What else can we do from animals? We can send in free-range chicken. Wait, what do you mean mother of all hens? Yeah, just in case that's too strong, how about I do that? A hundred mother of all hens. So we're just gonna do an army of uh, poultry. Trying to take over a, a town. Right? The odds are against the middle evil. So we go 50,000 units. Yep. And then we go, hang on. Uh, archers. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, hang on. We're only going to give them 10,000 archers, and they're going to be at the back. Okay, and then catapults. We're going to give them, like, 100. Not much, but, like, a little, little help. So we're going to have invaders from each side. They're gonna be pincered, and then the super hens will uh, will come down from the mountains. Like, yeah. Which direction are they facing? That's correct. That looks about right. Okay. This might be too far away. Let me move it a bit closer. Alright, let's see how this goes. Team 1, Team 1, Team 1, Team 2, Team 2, Team 2. Okay. <laughs> what is, what is the... the chicken unit? I'm kind of curious. Oh, this one's taking a while to load. I mean, it's less units overall. Like, the last one had 2 million units and it was fine. This is, like, not even 500,000. It's gotta be patient. Oh, there we go. And now it's... Alright, alright. Seems okay. <laughs> okay, there are the archers. Right, so... How far away are the, is the other army? That's what I want to see. 
Oh, over there. Are these the chickens or are these the ducks? <laughs> we already know what the ducks look like, so these are the chickens. <laughs> Madness. Alright, what about the super hens? Where are they? They're somewhere on the hills I placed them. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, what is this? What? Yeah, that's probably a mistake. <laughs> uh, so, I, I mean, we wanted a giant... Giant uh, poultry. It's not a giant duck, but I mean, this is this is close enough, right? And then, of course, the ducks are somewhere, but we're not going to look at them, so. The stage is set. The army of poultry approaching. Oh, the catapults are mobile as well. All right, here come the super ducks. <laughs> what what is going on? Why are they getting yeeted? <laughs> I love the voice so much, it's just so good. Oh, yep, no, okay, now, oh my god. The archers are not affecting the ducks. The army is being overwhelmed. The archers are just being mauled down by these super ducks. Oh my, look at the, look at the giant chickens. It's a bloodbath. the day humanity falls. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what about what about the chicken army over here? How are they doing? Oh my god. <laughs> it's chicken after. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm dead. Why does it have to make that sound?
Yes. The avians are tired of being at the bottom of the food chain. This is their day. Today they take back the land that was once theirs. I, ca I can't believe how, how one side of this is. Yeah, it's, uh, you know what? The humans are doing better than what I thought originally. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> how hard would these eggs be hitting for them to basically just rip through bodies like this? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the other side of the battlefield. I thought I made my ducks extra strong, but they're not really... Oh no, they're still here. They're kind of just, uh... Alright, let's get a bird's eye view of this. Wow. So there you go, you can see what's left of humanity is just this little belt here. Humanity has fallen today. Jeez, I can only think what people are thinking right now, like... I bet you're all having a nice night playing Jeopardy with Evie, and then Evie's like, hey, Will's online, let's go see what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, no, just the usual. Usual Friday night activities here. Oh, this is some great footage. Like, you could make a video out of this easily. <laughs> just the bodies lying around is just the best part. Oh no, it's over. The humans have been pincered. This is it. This is their last stand. I'm trying to do good with the camera work, it's hard. There can't be many of them left. Oh, yep, this is it, this is the end. This is the end of humanity as we know it, chat. The poultry is victorious. Humanity has been wiped off the face of the earth. I'm doing a dramatic zoom out on the, uh, the battlefield. Do you appreciate the production value? And roll credits. All right. <laughs> that was that was fun.
Okay, let's see what else we can do. Because I've seen some more ridiculous stuff in this. I wasn't aware that, uh... Yeah, that... <laughs> that's part of it. Okay, let's clear it up. Does anyone have any requests they want to see? I guess in terms of units. What have we got? We got... Romans, Greeks, animals, hero heroes? World War II, evil, whatever that means. We saw medieval a little bit. 18th century fantasy, ancient Egypt, modern combat, prehistoric. Australia versus ostriches. Uh, I mean, as long as I can do Canada versus anyone. Oh wait, it's not an option either. Uh, what is heroes? Action? What do you mean action, man? Chuck Norris, Nikola Tesla, Cleopatra, Laser... What are you... Laser Knight? Was it emus? It was emus, yeah. We don't have ostriches. Wasn't there a war again? Okay, so the whole story is... They were being pests... And the government gave land to soldiers from World War. And so they wanted, uh, yeah, it dealt with. So they deployed the Australian army to try and hold the emus, but they couldn't because of the harsh environment that happened. And it was considered one of the largest wastes of taxpayer money at the time. So, like, it's one of those things where it's technically they lost the war, and it's hilarious because it was framed that way in the media to make the uh, the government at the time look stupid. Laser Knights are Jedi. So wait, you mean to tell me we can do... We can do... Hold on. We can do like... Jedi's. What's yeah? What is evil? Zombies, ghosts. What the fuck is Juice Man? Okay, you know what? Wait, why is this so big? Okay, I don't know what Juice Man is, but we're gonna find out. Jedi's versus Juice Man. Let's go. And we're gonna we're gonna like uh, we're gonna make it seem like the Jedi's are the underdog. So the Jedi's will be holding... This is where they have hidden. And you know, Darth Vader has deployed uh, the Juice Men to hunt the Jedi. So that's, that's the scenario here. I don't know what to expect here. Maybe it's Liver King? I don't know. What the- what? Okay, so, yep, the, these are Jedi's. I mean, they're all the same. I, I wasn't going to expect us to have, like, a unique character model, but, you know. Uh, John Jedi is here. What the- why are they rainbow colored? What are these things? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why, why are they so thick? <laughs> why do they have a dumpy? Oh my god. <laughs> why do they have cankles? I don't know. I, for a sec there, I thought they were going to be the M&Ms, but then I was like, wait, but it said Juice Man, what the f- We don't have this in Australia, so it, it took me a while to make the connection that it's the Kool-Aid Man. I guess legally distinct Juice Person is uh, what we're fighting here. Why are they evil? I don't know, you tell me. Like, does Kool-Aid contain some additive that is banned everywhere else? Because that's a pretty common thing with certain foods over there. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um. You know, looking at looking at this. Uh, uh the, the the Jedi kind of uh yeah. May maybe a bit screwed here. Not gonna lie. All right. But you know they will try their best. Wait, why aren't they moving? Did I make did I make them both hold? Oh no, wait, they might be on the same team. I may have messed up. I may have messed up. I think they're on the same team or something. They're not moving, so something's wrong. Let's just fix it. That would have been so good to see as like Ah, they're both holding. Yep. So we want them to attack. Yep, okay. I could have sworn I changed it, but alright, it's correct now. Kool-Aid is like a couple of grams of artificial flavoring, which you add water. No, I know, I mean, I know what it is now. But I guess, like, sometimes there's certain food or beverage that exists in America that we don't have purely because it contains an ingredient that our government has banned. So, like, take Fruity Pebbles, for example. There's, there's an additive in that that uh, is banned here and a lot of parts of Europe. So, there's, there's that sort of thing going on. So, I don't know if that's the case with Kool-Aid. There we go. <laughs> the run. And do they get, t do they get tired or something? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. They didn't say, oh yeah, they say, oh yes. <laughs> Anakin has betrayed us. He sent the Kool-Aid men after us. Obi-Wan, what shall we do? We stand and fight. for today. <laughs> Holy crap. They got quite the punch on them. Wait, what's going on here? My stomach hurts, I'm gonna develop abs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Why are they getting launched into the air like that? I see the entrance. If they're getting bottlenecked there, that must be hilarious. <laughs> they can't enter the village. They, they're, they're stuck. This might be the Jedi's only chance to win. Look at the ones on the roofs. Uh, uh, I really needed this today. Uh. How much is left? Mm. 
Yeah, the Jedi, I mean, they're, they're being very pacifist. I did set them to defend, so I guess that's what they're doing, they're defending. I want to know who Action Man is, because there was this, um... I don't know if it was a cartoon show, but it was in the 90s. There was, like, a, a toy called Action Man. I don't think it's that. Like, I'm trying to think what would be... What would be something... If this is Kool-Aid and they had to rename it to Juice Man, what would Action Man be that they would rename? For the sake of it being legally distinct. I'm trying to think. Action Man. I mean, I guess it would have to be Stormtrooper if there's Jedi. What is going on over there? I just love how the Jedi are getting launched to the outskirts and then they're just being chased down. Like, look, look over there. Watch this. Watch this over here. Oh, that one's dead. No, they're, they're like, they're completely surrounded. Look at, look at how far they look. I'm kind of in awe of just how much is going on here. G.I. Joe or He-Man? G.I. It might be G.I. Joe. I'm gonna, I might check it out. This game is good for YouTube videos. Yeah, I mean, this is streamer bait, let's face it. But, I mean, I, I wanted to laugh and I was not expecting this. The Jedi don't stand a chance, like they're not even doing anything. Maybe I set them to be too passive. Look, they're just being thrown around like beach balls <laughs> at this point. Oh, this is like this is like a concert, you know. I wonder, like, you know how there's furry conventions? Maybe this is just a convention of uh um, juice people. This is just uh, a little unsettling, just... Okay, I'm gonna possess a juice person, just a sec. I wanna see this. You're mine! Jeez, they have 1600 health. They are so slow though. Alright, there you go. I'm gonna go into... Battle. So they- okay, so they just punch. The tanks, it would appear so. I mean, I didn't know what they were. But, you know what? This is historically accurate. This is how the Jedi fell and why they are no longer among us today. Sometimes histories, realities are just uh, a little bit harsh, you know? Oh no, yeah, you just swing. <laughs> you just swing and a bunch of them go flying. From my perspective, you're, you're the evil ones! Or whatever the fuck it is Anakin says when he has a hissy fit. Throws a tantrum. 
I haven't seen that movie since I was a teenager, so you know, I did my best. <laughs> the day is lost, Obi-Wan. We must retreat. Uh, they're slowly but surely overwhelmed. But wait. What is this? Wait, they're not even affected. What? <laughs> no, they're not even affected by it. They're not affected by the tornado at all. <laughs> that did nothing to them. They're immune. Look at this. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just it's just making things worse for the Jedi. Their bodies are too bulky to be affected by the tornado. They are nigh indestructible. Okay, well, this is over for the Jedi. It's sad to say. Okay. <laughs> I don't want this to go for hours, so let's, let's just see what else we can do. This is, uh, fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I went a bit overboard, admittedly, so hang on. Ghost, standard zombie, what else have we got? Fantasy, troll. We got trolls, alright. You know what? I'll do... Okay. We need something where they're just gonna run at each other. We'll do Troll, and then we'll do Action Man. 50,000 of each. Which, I, I, they're smaller, so Trolls must be gigantic. So how about, it looks like, that's how you know. I think this is, this is equal weighting. So 100,000 Action Men are the same as 50,000 Trolls. I think that's the way to read it. And, um, they're all going to attack. Um. And you know what? Let's just make this all... Let's just make this a battle royale situation. Now it's going to be four teams. One team will survive. Who will it be? Alright, so what's team four going to be? I mean team three. Game, please. There we go. Sort of. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got. Nikola Tesla, sure. Oh my god. Alright, there's... Uh, I guess Nikola Tesla needs to be, like... We'll get there. 300,000? 400,000? That's roughly correct. Alright. Uh, Chuck Norris, sure, why not? <laughs> this is this just seems stupid, but sure. All right, let's go. Four teams, only one winner. Who will survive? I mean, place your bets. I don't know, whatever Action Man is sounds good to me. I'll go with the, the wild card of whatever Action Man is. 
Team Troll? Alright. So here's the castle in the middle, which can be used as a, a battleground. Okay, so let's see our contestants. Who are these? These are... What? Chuck Norris. Right? Yeah. Apparently. Uh-huh. <laughs> Over here, we have... These are the... These has to be the trolls, because... Yeah, here are the trolls. Some of them being submerged in water, which... I don't know how well that... I don't know how well that'll go for them. We'll see. So this is the troll army. And over here... Yeah, just a slight deterrent, but it's a handicap for the trolls. They are bigger. Uh, this is Nikola Tesla, I, I guess. <laughs> what is that in his hand? It's either a hairdryer or it's a space age weapon. One or the other. Yeah, I would guess laser gun, but hairdryer would be hilarious. And finally, uh, whatever action man is, I can't tell yet from a distance, so. What's the mix mystery action man? What? Is, it, is that Keanu Reeves? <laughs> Fucking John Wick? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I, well, I'm on Team Wick, so you know, I guess I chose correctly. Jeez. Yep. Oh, oh this is gonna be, this is gonna be outstanding. Okay. Here we go. Where are they going? John Wick? Team John Wick is heading straight for Chuck Norris! <laughs> oh my god! I know it, Nikola Tesla. This is Team Tesla. Team Tesla is uh, being wiped out pretty decisively by Team John Wick. Let's go check the rest of the battlefield. How are the trolls doing? The trolls are marching in. Wait, oh my god. How can play this John Wick move? What is... Oh my god. god. Okay, um... <laughs> I mean, I, I think uh, John Wick might be a little overpowered. Oh no, yeah, they they are taking out their biggest targets. Nikola Tesla and um, Chuck Norris. What are the trolls doing? Okay, here we go. See, this this seems better. <laughs> Alright. It looks like the trolls are no match for Chuck Norris. What is going on over there? Oh, the trolls look like they're going to take the castle.
Why though? There's <laughs> no one here. Oh, I see they're passing through the castle. To get to the battle that is happening here. With Chuck Norris. Look at look at the pool of blood. Okay, I got some fine crops with this uh, fertilizer here. <laughs> it's just a, oh, it's a pandemonium. How are the how are the teams going? It looks like team two is about to be wiped out. I think the John Wick team has been uh, eliminated from this one, potentially. I don't see many of them alive. It looks like Chuck Norris has uh, kind of taken the lead here. I thought John Wick was going to go strong, but uh, it looks like the guns are no use for the fists of Chuck Norris. All right, so I, I chose poorly. It looks like, uh, yep, Team John Wick is out of it. There's only a few s stragglers remaining. Where are they holding out? Let me go up higher. The trolls have zero kills. Is it the trolls or is it John Wick? Maybe it's the trolls. I could have sworn I set them all to attack unless they just guarded. We'll find out. What? What is? What is happening here? Oh, oh, that is frightening. <laughs> oh no! John, you can do it. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. How's that for a cinematic cut? Yeah, no, I think um, I interpreted this wrong. Because Chuck Norris has... Uh, I gave Chuck Norris more, and I think it's purely just associated to size. It would appear that, uh, yeah. <laughs> a gross on the understatement of how much power this uh I mean team Tesla's doing all right that's gonna be Tesla versus Norris oh wait we've got oh no wait no it is the it is the trolls that are losing John team John Wick is over here on uh the Red Mountain. What are they doing? No, 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 I was wrong. Team John Wick is still in this. It looks like the trolls are the ones being wiped out. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks nice. It's like from a distance. You could say that uh, these are like uh, red flowers. Yep, uh, it's not blood at all. Poppy fields. Exactly. Well, uh, the troll team has been wiped out. Eliminated. Now the question is, are they going to figure out where they need to go? I can also command the army and tell them to go a certain direction. But it looks oh, it looks like Chuck Norris is uh, heading towards them. So it's only going to be a matter of time before the Clash of the Titans begins. Right, 
Where are they going? I mean... I have an idea of what I'm gonna do next. I think it's going to be hilarious, but let's just see how it works out. Okay, so I mean only, only two teams remain. It looks like it's going to be between uh, Chuck Norris and uh, John Wick. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all the bullets. <laughs> They're all in unison. Please avert your eyes if uh, you're further sensitive. Oh, God. Mental. I mean, it's kind of beautiful when you look at it from this angle, you know? Well, I mean, Tesla, Tesla did its, its best, but just was not enough to match the fury of Chuck Norris. Now the question is, who will be the victor? Good for John Wick. The Chucks aren't dying quick enough. Slowly but surely, they are pushing the Wicks back. There's too many of them. Only 5,000 wicks remain. And soon their lights will be gone. Only 475 trucks have died. What? No, way more. Way more than that. It, it, it definitely hasn't been that many. It definitely hasn't been that many, but it's been more than 475. It's uh, 380... Oh wait, I'm reading the wrong number. You're right. Yeah. Sorry, I read the wrong number. That's kills. Jeez. Okay, yeah, so... I mean, understandably so. Like, the meme is you can't stop Chuck Norris, so... I, I guess... This was to be expected. <laughs> Just watch... Watch them hunt down... Like, all right, look, look at this John here on the outskirts.
This is going to be the last John standing. Jeez, there's only 200 of them remaining. I thought this was going to be in John Wick's hands. <laughs> John, no! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it just like pumped them into the air. <laughs> uh, the day is lost for the wicks. It looks like Chuck Norris is all but victorious. There's only but a few stragglers remaining. wanted the camera I just wanted to turn around the camera and just see like a horde of Chuck Norris just facing this one poor John Wick down there is one John Wick remaining somewhere on the map he is but the, the sole survivor of this massacre but Chuck Norris cannot claim victory until this last enemy is felled Somewhere amongst the carnage, there is hope. I mean, to be honest, I probably won't find them. <laughs> but I wish I could find the character, but this is like a needle in a haystack, pretty much. They, they can't find them. I mean, really... Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, if they can't find him, I'm just gonna have to say that through wit and intellect, uh, John Wick outsmarted the Norrises. But, nope. A dramatic pan over the battlefield. Okay. <laughs> Gonna hang for one more. Okay, the last one I'm going to do, I'm going to customize John Wick. I'm going to give him the health that... Say, 100,000 John Wicks will have, and I'm gonna put him against a horde of animals. So we're going to film the premise of John Wick 9. This is going to be John Wick 9, the movie. Okay. So let's go... Uh, where is it? Action Man, there he is. Okay, so you know, if... Let me do the calculations. Gonna keep his damage the same. But let's say, you know, he has 10,000 health now. 
So if we multiply that by 100,000... I don't know if I can enter this number, so it has to be nine zeros. That's eight zeros, nine zeros. Right? Yeah. And then everything else can remain the same about him. This is just but like, um... Call him the one wick. That's all we're doing. Very simple. Okay, so team one will be the one wick. Wait, what is space? Oh. How far space this unit is? Ah. One. Let's just so we know where he is. We'll do this. Okay, so. Pretty much. There will be one John Wick in the middle of this map, and he has to hold. And so, this is going to end with... It's going to end on a high note. Mantis Shrimp. We're going to also add... Oh, there are ostrich ostriches. Interesting. We don't want too many battle hands. I think a hundred was enough last time. So we're gonna add uh, mother of all hands a hundred. I just need to. I need to make sure that this is fair. So hang on, it can't be that much. Okay, and let's just zoom out. We just we want more. Um, The free-range chickens were, were really, really strong. Okay, so we want this to be cinematic, right? So we're gonna have the free-range chickens approaching from the pyramids. Oh, sorry, the mother of all hens approaching from the pyramids. So you have these giant chickens at the pyramids. I think that's great. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Are there any more animals? Let's see. We gotta get the battle duck as well. Because of course we do. So we'll say... 50,000. Because they weren't that strong. Now the question is, who... Who do you believe will win this battle? The one wick... Or, you know, Mother Nature itself. I guess they're engineered animals, but we'll see. Okay, hold, attack, 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 attack. There we go. I mean, John Wick does the same amount of damage. Maybe I should give him more damage, just a little bit. Because I would imagine they have a lot of health. Maybe that is probably a wise idea. Tell you what, we'll give him... Not that much of a buff, let's say double damage. Double damage, so you can take him out quicker. Because the big hands are going to be a bit of an effort. Alright. Looks like Team Animal is what people are predicting, but we'll see. This is a lot of health for one man. And now I want you to sit back and enjoy the premiere of uh, John Wick 9. We arrive in Egypt. Where a horde of animals is hunting one man. What the heck? What are you? Uh, okay. Yep, that, that's a thing. That's certainly a thing.
mantis shrimps, yeah. There's the, the Legion of Duck. Okay. So we're gonna try and follow the perspective of John Wick on this one. Deep, deep in the mountains we have... Well, let's find them. We have the one wick somewhere here. There he is. John Wick 9! Oh boy. It's not looking good for John. All right, here we go. My oh, God. I gave him so much health. What do you mean? How, how quickly did he go down? He didn't even stand. No, oh, come on. Um, so what do you mean? He didn't... Let me check the settings. As if he went down that quickly. That was way too. That was over in like a less than a minute. That was more of a fair fight than that. Oh, it's Action Man. Ah ha ha. That's why. False alarm. No, 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 I picked the wrong thing. False alarm. False alarm. So, you know, that's when you have your regular John Wick, but we need the one Wick. That's why. Alright, but that, that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much a normal John Wick can withstand. Does this change your mind? Now... We begin with Super Wick. Starring in John Wick 9. He's doing better. At this point already, he, he would have gone down. We'll get a bird's eye view of uh, what's happening shortly. I don't know. How's it looking? Did he die? What? No, nope, he didn't die, he didn't die, he didn't die, where is he? There he is, he's okay, he's okay, he's okay. The giant chicken has arrived at the battle. But John is fine. John is still standing. In fact, he's actually taken out a couple of the big chickens. <laughs> I just have to look. I wish I could automatically track him.
Let's take a look at this battlefield. It's a black. <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> he's still going strong. Oh, no. He's, he's in big trouble. But I think if he gets the ostriches out of the way, he might have a chance. But just behind these ostriches, the mantis shrimp. Uh... Oh, that is frightening. They are in white. They lie in white. And the battle ducks are arriving at the battlefield now. <laughs> it's just this ocean of blood at this point. You know, admittedly, I probably did this on too large of a scale. <laughs> but like, okay, if he's taken out, like, say, five per second, how long are we going to be here for, really? <laughs> like, I may... Maybe this might take a while, but... He's killed 2,000 so far. I can't imagine he's going to win, but we'll see how far he can get. I could thin out the numbers myself and just start taking out stuff with a tsunami, but I'm kind of worried I'm going to accidentally murder. But hang on, I got an idea. Maybe I can use the shotgun. I think these hens are gonna get him because look, look at look at these artillery eggs. They're just. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna survive this, to be honest. <laughs> like he's constantly being barraged by eggs and being pecked by. I mean, I would say like at least a dozen ostriches at once. Uh, hold on. I thought I could individually select the unit. But no. I don't want to risk it. I don't know, I don't think I don't think you can survive this. Look at the pattern as well, it's almost hypnotizing, just how they do it in unison. Synchronized pecking. Ah, uh, you know, I don't care if I never play this again, this has been worth the money. Oh yeah, the feather's fanning out as well. It's... 
Very nice. I mean, I'm sure this game is going to get to the point where it supports custom models, so you'll be able to add whatever you want. And I do hope you will be able to mess with the size of characters eventually. This game is an early access, so there's still a lot that can be done. How much did it cost me? Uh, I think like 25-ish, something like that. Australian. Which is not bad. Given other games are way more expensive and... I've la I have laughed so much tonight at this game that my stomach actually hurts and I have- I'm, I'm gonna develop a sore throat at this rate. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you, you need a good laugh. I can't believe it. Is this... Why, why do these hands have to make this sound? Like, honestly. <laughs> and the ducks as well, it just kills me. They're all like Donald. It's so good. One army versus one man. I'm just, I'm trying to get as many cinematic angles as I can get. Because if I'm feeling extra creative, you know I'm just gonna like cut a trailer of this. Ugh. How is he still alive? How's he doing? Alright, he's almost at 5,000. I mean... Look. In the interest of time, I'll give it like another 5 minutes. And then I'll start um, introducing Mother Nature into the equation. Because I think if he doesn't die, he could very well be here for an hour. Oh. Uh, hello? Where'd you go, Keanu? Keanu! Keanu! Well, now he's fighting ducks. <laughs> this is a story about miracles. I think he's, uh, he's definitely standing more of a chance against the ducks. 
I mean, these are your standard battle ducks, so they're not doing much. But it looks like the, the giant hens are repositioning. Okay, whilst this is going- oh no, the ostriches are here. Whilst this is going on, give me like 30 seconds, I'm gonna get myself more water, because I'm dying. <laughs> I've been laughing too much. It hurts almost now. Ugh. I'll leave you with, uh, John Wick here. this much I'm glad I gave him double damage because this would be taking way longer <clears throat> I mean I think he's definitely gonna wipe out the ducks now at least unless somehow he gets yeeted again <laughs> look at the feathers I mean, he's already- he's gone up a thousand kills almost since he got here. To this particular position, so... Okay, I can possess Keanu to see how much health he has, so give me a sec. Oh, wait, that's a duck. Hang on, where's Keanu? No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He has so much health on me. No. Keanu's gonna win this. There's no way. He's got this in the bag. There's, there's no way he loses this. <laughs> he's, he's going to win. <laughs> this could be ours. Alright, in the interest of time. I firmly believe Keanu's gonna win this. Just looking at how much health he has, lost really. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with this result. It's funny. But now it's time, it's time to play God here. That's what I was looking for. Yep, that's, uh, that's totally how water works. Look at them run. Are you trying to run away? Where are you going? You know, the underwater sea city of uh, Egypt. Well, Cairo, I should say. Egypt's a country, not a city. It's okay, it's late at night here and I've had a long day, I can say that. The giant chickens are going to survive. You know, John Wick is still alive, by the way. I'm just saying, like... Here I am flooding the whole battlefield, but John Wick is still alive. He is somewhere amongst the water. Somewhere. 
John is alive. Okay, so now we're down to like less than 200 units. He's still killing. What? what? I just noticed he's still getting killed. Where is he? How? Oh, I, I can see the bullets. Oh my god. He's still alive. Oh, well, you can get rid of me that easily. How much health does he have? Dude, he's, he's, he's lost no health. Okay. Um, okay, so like, let's say I was to drop a nuke directly on top of Keanu Reeves, like what would happen? Chat. He's still alive. I just dropped a nuke on top of Keanu and he still lives. Only 40 chickens remain. But the question on everyone's mind is, where is Keanu? Uh, the chickens look confused. I may have just shot Keanu out of the plane of existence and, uh... They don't know where to look. No, wait. It looks like they figured it out. Maybe. Somehow the mantis shrimp didn't survive the flood, but okay. No, no, they're on the hunt. Where is he? Nuclear warfare did not work for the chickens. And now they must... Still, he's still alive. How is he still alive? How is he still alive? What do you mean? That, that, that's all the healthy. That's all the healthy lost. Okay, no. Oh, he's 100% got this. Like, there's, there's no way. <laughs> Three nukes dropped on Keanu's location. He still lives. Where is he? Only five chickens remain. Where are, where are the surviving chickens? And more importantly, where is Keanu? They'll figure out where he is in a minute. <laughs> what is going on here in the middle? Like, what is what is this water doing? It seems to be glitched. I wouldn't be surprised if there are some chickens back at base here. That's the perimeter. It would have been cool if I could put Keanu up here. I have no 
no idea where the survivors are. It's possible that I just blew them out of existence and the game is confused now. Which, I mean, look. It's understandable. If I can't find it in the next minute or so, then uh, I think we have to declare Keanu the, the victor. Just look for that, that flash of light. I wonder if RTS mode works. Hold on. Oh, I have an, I have an idea. I have an idea. RTS mode. Aha. Okay. Um, right click there. Okay, so wherever Keanu is, I've made a move here. And then team two also here. So now I've, I've moved them. So wherever Keanu is right now, he will he will come to here. Pretty sure. I got the feeling that I I blew him sky high and he's he's just gone now. So let's just let's just wait a minute. I think they do have to be in range to shoot, but they actively hunt each other down at the very least, so... Somewhere on this map, they're looking for each other, but I guess I just help now. Oh yeah, that's possible I did something dumb and they're just somewhere that... They're uh, just stuck in. I mean, I think the thing here is that, uh... Well, you can toggle slow motion. Oh, there's a slow motion mode. I should have been using that. Damn. That would have been highly cinematic. I don't see any survivors. I don't see Keanu, so I may have glitched it, which fine. This is like, uh, yeah, to be continued in John Wick 10. <laughs> okay. All right. That was fun. Uh John Wick was going to win either way. Like let's face it. All right, I'm going to do one more cuz I think it's funny. This will be the last one. Uh, what have we got that I haven't messed around with? What is ancient Egyptian spearman, Egyptian warrior? Ah, but we need something, something good. You know what? We're gonna go like just a one v one, classic one v one. Need to go to bed, all good, Mikey. Thanks for sticking around. I imagine... <laughs> I'm sorry if I kept people up. I imagine some of the Americans had to stay up, but it's okay. Uh, North Americans, I shouldn't lump you all together. Alright. The Highlands. Okay, I like this. This is a map we haven't done. It was worth it. Oh, dude, my stomach is hurting. Like, I, I, I hope I don't lose my voice overnight. Okay, this is going to be a very, very simple one. Opposing ends, they're going to run, and they're going to clash in the middle. Very simple. Cleopatra versus Nikola Tesla. Last battle. This shouldn't take long. All right. So this is Cleopatra. I wonder what Cleopatra does. Is she going to have like some crazy powers? I would imagine so. I mean, Tesla's got a, a laser. 
Let's go see Tesla. Oh, man. There they are. Okay. Let's zoom out so we can see both. Oh, they are pretty far away. But yeah, well, I mean, that's good enough. All right, commence. This is going to be a cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> I hope I get this is gonna be great if I get there on time, but I think I may have zoomed out the camera a little bit too much. I'll speed it up if I have to. I'm kinda of curious to see what Cleopatra would have. Cleopatra is like a, a character out of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know, I, I think Cleopatra's got this one. This is way too strong. I did say it was going to be a quick one. What's slow motion? Slow motion is P. Okay, here we go. Stop doing anything. Press P to toggle slow motion. It's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, well. Oh my god. That was that was a mess. They only got 26 Cleopatras. Is Tesla just a joke? No. Okay. Just out of interest. I, did, I know I said this, this was the last one, but I, I have one more out of, out of curiosity. And this is legitimately just a 1v1. Chuck Norris versus, versus uh, Cleopatra, because these are the two strongest from what I've seen. So... And... Pretty much just one v one. Well, hang on. Let me line them up like this, right? So pretty much just place them directly on top of each other. 
and it's a 1v1. Simple as that. Alright. I'm curious who's the stronger one. And why Cleopatra of all things? Alright, uh, let's just find them. Oh yeah, here they are. Alright. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Alright, so Chuck Norris is supreme. Oh, the sound effect was just, it was glorious. Oh, my stomach hurts so much, chat. I, I have to stop this. Okay. Well, that was uh, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. I might come back to this in future when it leaves early access. Maybe if it gets Steam Workshop support. I'm sure this is going to be absolutely amazing if you can do custom character models. But for the time being, that'll, that'll do it for this one. So I do hope you enjoyed yourself. If you're watching this replay later on YouTube, and you did enjoy yourself and have fun, uh, yeah, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that was great.